Okay, so what we're going to do here is um, I started this musical instrument triggered by colors project and um, I'm going to show you the different parts to get you started. So first we're going to go to the stage. So I'm going here to the stage, clicking, and going to backdrops and you'll see I just drew in some different colors. Okay, you just choose your colors down here, choose your paintbrush, and you can make the line thicker or thinner. And then um, you know you can draw anything that you want to. If you want to draw instruments, if you want to um, draw um, different shapes, maybe even draw you know a pentagon with different colored sides. It's up to you to try to you know play around with different ideas. Um, so once you have that you can simply go back to your sprite here, the cap. I'm going to click on the cap. I'm going to go to scripts. And for this project, we're writing all our scripts inside of the cap. So um, this looks like a lot of code initially, but it's really just basically a couple pieces of code duplicated. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with um, assigning instruments to each of the colors. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to put these over here. Get them out of the way. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to get an event when clicked and bring it over here. You're going to go to control and grab a forever and then an if then, and put that inside the forever. You are going to go to um, sensing, and you're going to grab touching color and put it inside this if uh, section here. So if I'm touching whatever that color is, and I can decide on that by clicking on it once and getting the hand, and then clicking on one of these colors. So I just turn that red. Okay, so if I'm touching red, and that means my cat, if my cat is touching red, then I want it to do something. So I'm going to go to sound, and I'm going to go to set instrument. And I'm going to grab play note. So whenever it runs into the red now, it will set the instrument to, I'll say, I don't know, something loud. Let's try saxophone. And it's going to play whatever pitch 60 is and choose different pitches. And for however long you want that to go. I'm going to go half beat. Now, when my cat Okay, so anyway, that's how you set up a very, um, your basic setup for making a color create a sound when the cat runs over. Okay? So now what's really cool is you can just take this and control click on it and do a right click if you have that set up. Duplicate, bring that down, and now you have another one all set up for you. So now the next step is just change these. So I'm going to go to change this to yellow, or I'll do black this time. I change my instrument. Let's do organ. And if you want, you can change the note or, okay. And so now I have black and red set up. I also set up these already kind of the same way that I just showed you. Let's get rid of this. Now we want to trigger these sounds. So I'm going to go to events. I'm going to grab a when clicked and put it over here. I'm going to grab a forever from my control. <clears throat> Bring it over. Okay, there it is. And then I'm going to get these move blocks. So I'm going to go to motion. And you can do a lot of different things with the way the cat moves. I just set this up here where it moves 100 steps. I put in a turn degrees. 
And the only thing I did here that was you may not be used to is I grabbed this pick random. So that is in the operators. I drag that out. And then I just chose um, which two numbers to pick at random from between those numbers. So I chose from 50 to 190 degrees. I put that in there. Okay. So all I have to do now is click on the green flag. And every time my cat runs into something that has a sound, it will create that sound. And if I don't like the sounds, I can just change them. There are, just so you know, there's also more um, sounds here. I don't know why I can't get mine up. Just a second here. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure why I'm not getting more, but I'm going to put in, let's see if I can just type in the number 50. Okay. All right, let's see what happens now with the red. Come on, red. It's going to take a while to get there. There we go. Okay. So that's the idea. Um, and so play around with it. Try different movements of your cat by using different uh, blocks in motion. Um, different degrees. Um, different numbers. You could have it move, turn, move, turn, move, turn, and have them all be different. Um, you could put random inside the move steps. Um, and of course you can go back to your stage and backdrops and try different kinds of colors in there. Okay, so good luck with that.